Welcome back to Fox and Friends. A potentially devastating rail strike is looming over the holidays and could impact every industry in America. And that includes chemical manufacturers, which ship 33,000 carloads of product per week. That's worth $2.8 billion. And the American Chemistry Council says their trade could be one of the first to hit your wallet. American Chemistry Council President and CEO Chris John joins us now. Chris? Good morning. Good morning. So you're the president of the chemical of this chemical industry of their council. How explain to us what is the impact that will have on your industry and how will it impact everyday Americans? Explain to us how that connection is. Sure. So chemical manufacturers would be one of the first industries impacted by the threat of a rail strike. So to prepare for a shutdown, railroads stop shipping certain chemicals well in advance of a strike. So right now we have a deadline of December 9th to reach a deal, but the railroads will stop accepting a lot of our shipments by December 2nd, a week in advance, which is just next week. So our members would be forced to either curtail or even shut down production within a week of a strike beginning. The reason that matters to all of your viewers is that the chemical industry supports throughout um, the manufacturing process everything that is made in this country. That's automobiles, that's pharmaceuticals, that's refining, that's semiconductors. Our industry literally supports every sector of the economy from farm to factory. Yeah, I've been amazed as I've looked at what, what it would impact. The economy would lose 700,000 jobs. PPI would jump 4%. GDP would shrink by 1%, and almost $160 billion would be pulled from uh, the economy. So, I mean, it's a massive impact. What do you want Congress to do? What, what can they do? So, what we need Congress to do is act quickly, well in advance of a strike. And we'd ask for them to pass bipartisan legislation. You're going to need 60 votes for this in the Senate um, to implement the terms of the deal that the railroads and the unions already agreed to. They made that agreement in September. And our country literally cannot afford a shutdown of the rail network. This is a, an economic calamity waiting to happen. And it's something that's completely preventable. So we're asking Congress to act quickly on a bipartisan basis to pass legislation to prevent this from happening. So, Chris, you, you brought up September. Yeah, we thought that this was resolved in September. In fact, uh, President Joe Biden did a victory lap and bragged about it ahead of the, of the midterm, saying that he had resolved this issue. What happened? Why did this break down after we thought we had terms set up in, in September? It's a good question. So what happened is several of the unions then voted to disapprove of the agreement that was reached between the labor leaders and the railroads. And so we're in a situation where most of the unions have approved the deal, but some have not. And because those uh, unions won't cross a picket line, the entire network could shut down as soon as December 9th. But again, for our members, that'd be a week in advance. So that's why it's so important that we have leadership from both the White House and from Congress to move ahead. And so we really are looking to President Biden to engage not only with the unions, the railroads, but also with Congress to prevent this strike from happening. Yeah, well, let's hope they do. Chris John, we thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.